How's everybody doing? Smoking cigars with Helen Blind. Helen Blind, buddy Slim. Your 60 minute jelly belly toe jam man here to learn y'all some blues. Today I'm smoking a Bolivar Cofradia. It's supposed to be the Oscuro, but I think uh, JR screwed up and sent me the Maduro. Still a good cigar. And uh, today is Sunday, November the 8th. Went out last night. Um, had a pretty good time. Went to two different clubs. Went uh, to one here. A friend of mine's band play. And uh, they're just freaking awesome. Good blues band. Mr. Danny. And uh, went to another club that I play at quite often. I'm outside sitting on the smoking porch. smoking a cigar this fella comes out sits down beside me introduces himself I tell him I'm Helen Blind and uh, so we're talking he's a little looped you know and we're talking about all kinds of different things politics and uh, price of meat and bread and all of a sudden he looks over and he says you know Helen I did not have premarital sex with my wife before we got married no yeah. He said, did you? I said, I don't know. What was her name? People are weird. Anyway, where to start? Where to start? Uh, I need to clarify some things from my last video. I was going to give you some uh, uh, movie titles that I think you should look up and watch. So I'll do that. And then I was going to explain to you, I think, uh, about how the country can run and has run without an income tax. Cigar store I work at. Fella comes in, he's a blogger. And he's a nice guy, smokes some really nice cigars. And, uh, but he's a, the Democrats are wrong, the Republicans are right type guy. And you probably know some of those people. You probably even know some of those people who say, who are, uh, the Republicans are wrong, the Democrats are right guys. And, uh, I'm one of these guys who says both sides are screwed up. We need to find something better. I personally uh, like the Libertarian Party and what they stand for. Uh, I find myself leaning that way more and more every day. So, uh, but anyway, we were talking about the Federal Reserve and uh, Federal Reserve Act of 1913. And he was curious how... The, this happened, and and he was up on his politics. A young fellow, an, an an older older guy come in. He's, I think he's a homeless guy, but boy, he knew his stuff. Started uh, explaining to this fellow about the Wahlbergs. There's three Wahlberg brothers married three uh, Rothschild women, and they set out in different fields of loaning money and uh, ripping people off to to get where they are today, and creating the Federal Reserve Act and. Uh, I told him, I said, man, you know your stuff. So here's what happened, folks. A lot of people think we've had income tax forever, ever since day one. Government needs our money to run. And that's not true. I want you to look up the Aaron Rousseau film. It's a great documentary. You can find it probably here on YouTube. Watch the entire thing. Called... America, freedom to fascism. I want you to watch that. Every word in that documentary is true. Then I want you to look up Zeitgeist, the movie. If you have a little problem with the first part, the part of religion, skip through it and go to the second and third part. Then I want you to find Zeitgeist 2, the addendum. Check that out. 
It talks about how money is created um, in this country. Go to trueworldhistory.info. Watch some of those uh, documentaries. Trueworldhistory.info. Check out some of those documentaries. There's some on the Money Ma- The Money Masters is one of the best ones. You want to find out how money uh, works in this country. Um, credit card. There's a there's a really good one on there about the history of credit cards and why they were created, how they were created, and why why credit cards are just a bad thing to have, you know. I I know you think that uh, credit cards are a good thing to have. I'm sorry about that, folks. I I have been up almost all night. and only got about three or four hours sleep. Credit cards are a bad thing to have. I see people come in the store to buy a cigarillo that's 90 cents. And they're mostly young people. They whip out the freaking debit card. They, they put everything on a debit card or a piece of plastic. Nobody carries cash anymore. Some people do, but most of the time, these young people are tricked into believing that plastic is the way to go. And um, yeah, if you got it in your bank account, it's a quick way to get to it. And, and I'll do it occasionally if, if I see something that I, I need and I don't have the cash on me and, and I know it's in the bank and it was set up for that. But uh, credit is a bad thing, folks. Everybody's worried about their credit score. You know, watch my credit score. It's a bad thing. Don't worry about it. I, I, I pray that I can never get credit again. I don't want it. If I can't pay cash for what I want, I don't need it. Okay. Now, before the, uh, the Federal Reserve Act, now... In 1910, the big bankers who have tried to set up central banks in this country before and were defeated by previous presidents, Andrew Jackson, Thomas Jefferson, people like that, the heroes, founding fathers, great men, wise men who knew what was going on. Okay, the Federal Reserve Act, big bankers got together, and in 1910, they snuck off to Jekyll Island, and that's another one I want you to look up. The Creature from Jekyll Island by G. Edward Griffith. This man is a genius. Matter of fact, that was the one I suggested to the fellow who had no idea about the Federal Reserve Act. Uh, G. W. Griffith, the, the Federal Reserve Act uh, of 1910. A Creature from Jekyll Island. You know, the Federal Reserve is not a government agency, and more and more people are waking up to that fact every day. And I love it. They're being threatened, folks. They're threatened with the power that we're going to take away from them. H.R. 1207 needs to pass in its entirety so we can audit the Fed and find out where that money is going. Let me take a short break. Then I'm going to come back on the flip side and we'll end this real quick. Explain to you a little bit about why we don't need a Federal Reserve. <laughs> 